Hi everyone, it's Melissa Lorena, the job interview coach, and welcome to today's episode where I'm going to talk about how you can uncover the hidden job market. So what's really interesting is that a lot of my clients out there, they always ask me this question. They always want to know how can I get access to the roles that are opening up that are not yet live on websites, not yet getting you know hundreds of candidates applying for them they want to be ahead of the line they want to have a good sense of what's coming down the line and be proactive about it so wanted to just share with you a little bit of tips for how you can start getting a better sense of what other opportunities are opening up in your ideal company and i want to give you a sense that you can actually have these conversations with human resources professionals during your round one job interviews. So here's the deal. At the end of the day, you're applying to an opportunity or multiple opportunities in one organization. Let's say you get that phone call from a human human resources professional and you start engaging with them. They start asking you questions that are the typical job interview questions. You have a good sense for what they're looking for, what sort of openings they're actually trying to fill in. During that exact conversation, you can in turn probe a little bit more deeply and ask questions that'll give you a sense for what other opportunities might be opening up. So here's how. Before you go into your interview with a human resources professional, I want you to have a good sense of the roles. So the job titles that you really wish were open in that ideal employer. So have a sense of what it is that you would love to be open closer in your timeline than further away. So that's step one. And how do you do that? You have to poke around LinkedIn. We're all proactive here. So you have to poke around in LinkedIn. You have to network actively. I mean, there's a myriad of ways that you can do that and you can hire me to help you think those through for you. But what I suggest you do is start with LinkedIn. So know what roles you'd love to see open. The second thing, when you're having that conversation with HR early on, you can ask questions that are broad in the sense that you're asking them about the team structures. You're asking about who the leaders are. You're asking them who's playing what role on that team. I want you to have a good sense of what the organizational structure is. So this way you could sniff out those gaps if some exist and they just have not made their way to an online job search portal. So that's something else that you can go and start doing with your first conversation with HR. Look, these folks are already interested in you. Not to say that you apply for an opportunity that makes no sense just to get a conversation with HR, but it doesn't hurt to apply for something that is really close to what you'd like, but not with great precision, precisely what you want. So you have an excuse to talk with HR if they do indeed call you back. So the third thing is really about, you know, figuring out what it would take to land those jobs. So once you've done your LinkedIn homework, you have a sense of the actual roles you really, really wish were open. Once you start asking the question about, you know, the broader team and the different business units, then you need to know before having that chat with HR, what it would take to even be considered for those jobs if they were indeed open. And so that's where extra preparation is critical. Extra preparation. So don't just be prepared for a job interview for the actual role you're going for, but think to yourself how you can be prepared should an opportunity, maybe one inch above, open up and be available when you actually have that chat with HR. So of course, you're going after the job that you applied for, but just have in mind strategically that there could be other openings available that just are not live yet, but for sure that HR professional knows will be opening up. So you want to be considered for the moment that they do open up. So taking that into account, what I want you to do now is I want you to download the worksheet that I've provided for you in the bit.ly link. Download that worksheet, start getting to work because I know that right now during this season, there might not be as much job activity, but right now is when you can start scoping out what will open later on in the next season. So go ahead, download the worksheet, give it a try, figure out the roles that you really want to go after. Don't be shy about asking HR about the team structure. 
Don't be shy mm-hmm. about over preparing and making sure that you are ready should an opportunity open up that is indeed hidden. So if you like this video, like it. If you know someone that is in the job market that can really use a nudge, a push, some encouragement to get out there and ask better questions, more questions to get better opportunities, then share this video as well. So next week, we'll talk about some more things that you can do in order to nail your round one job interviews. But for now, I encourage you to download the worksheet and then look at my HR toolkit. If you'll notice, all my videos related to the HR round one interview have a hashtag HR toolkit. In that toolkit, I give you the insights that you need in order to impress human resources in your round one interview. Those can be casual conversations on the phone or those can be phone interviews or those can be live conversations with someone that actually does play a huge role in whether or not you make it to round two. So again, like this video, share this video, and download the worksheet. I am giving you a strategy for how you can figure out what the the hidden job market really is and how you can access it. Have an amazing rest of your day, everyone. Take care. Bye.